Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In this video, we'll quickly be going over what's the molecularity of a reaction is. So for each of these reactions, we have to determine the molecularity, and the way to do that is just look at how many reactants are present in each of the reactions. So in the first one, you can see there's only one reactant, so that makes the first one unimolecular. In the second one, you can see there's one reactant and another reactant, so this would be bimolecular. And the next one, you'll see there's, there's also one reactant plus another, so there's two reactants. So once again, it's bimolecular. And then the third one, we have two reactants right here and two reactants right here. So this could, it's tetramolecular. Um, and then the last one, we have just two reactants. So this is another bimolecular. So when you're looking at the number of reactants, you do have to take into account the coefficient. Let's just do one final one. What would we have? 2A plus B forms C. So taking into account the coefficients on the reactants that we have 2 and 1, and that's a total of 3 things. So this is going to be termolecular. So if you have one reactant, it's una. If you have two, two reactants, it's bimolecular. And three is ter, and then four is tetra. You're probably not going to see more than more than four reactants because it's really rare for for four or five more reactants to collide at once. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.